If I draw a square one centimeter across and then copy it, then draw another square the same width as those first two, that new square is two centimeters across. If I do it again and draw another square to match the height of the last two, we get a square that is three centimeters across. Keep going and we get five, eight, 13, 21, and we can do this forever. This string of numbers is called the Fibonacci sequence. And if we look at the ratio between each of these numbers, the higher we get, the closer that ratio approximates to 1.618033987. It goes on forever. This is the golden ratio or the divine proportion. And some designers put a lot of stock into this number because it shows up a lot in the natural world sort of. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to round this to 1.618. Now, if you want to use this in your designs, you can do things like take these squares and use them to form grid lines in your layouts. So the spacing between your elements has the same golden proportion. Or you can use them to govern the shapes of something like a logo. You could even balance your type with it by decreasing your headlines, subtitles and body copy and divide your point sizes by 1.618 each time. Or you can even combine the two and use the golden ratio to decide the width of your logo type versus your logo mark. Lots of videos on that out there. Now, golden ratio enthusiasts love this because it takes any guesswork or subjectivity out of design. You just put in a magic formula and bang, you've got a good design, right? Wrong. This is not a one size fits all method. It doesn't account for all the quirks and nuances of being a designer. Things like overshoot, a bisection illusion, common screen aspect ratios or paper sizes. Is it a good rule of thumb? Yes. Should you live your life by it? No. If I pick another ratio randomly, like 1.8, and use this instead of 1.618, you might think this layout looks better. In my opinion, anyway, if you do use it, try it out as a starting point and use your eye or your best judgment to refine your design. Otherwise, you might find that your work ends up looking forced or formulaic. Use it as a tool, not as a rule.